We just made this new wall hanging to go over our console table using some buffalo plaid and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Then that's awesome because that's what we do here. So go ahead and subscribe and tick that bell because we have a new video each week. Yep. This week we're making a home decor sign. Really what I want to show you is how to do buffalo plaid. Buffalo suit. He's been saying that since I sold him buffalo plaid. <laughs> this is just a sheet of plywood and we've painted it white. It's 20 by 20 and we're going to frame it. And these are one by twos that are already to the size of the 20 by 20 board and I've stained them. So I already prepped these two pieces. So step one, we're gonna start with the buffalo plaid. Buffalo plaid. And I'm gonna have Garrett do it. <laughs> oh. All right, so you wanna put a one piece of tape right down the center. All right. Eyeball it? Yeah, eyeballing is fine. I mean, as long as it's straight, don't, I can't have my stripes wonky. Yeah, nobody wants wonky stripes. That's it. Good. Now you're gonna put another piece of tape here as a spacer because you want to keep adding stripes uh, to either gotcha. side, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. I got it. Yeah. Make sure they're even. I'll make my stripes wonky. Oh, that's just a guide, right? I mean. Yeah, it's just a guide. What do you think? Yep, yeah. looks great. <laughs> now that we have our first set of stripes down, now you're gonna paint it a light gray. And done. Okay, so we're gonna give this just a few minutes to dry. It needs to be dry completely because we're gonna peel up the tape and put tape down in the other direction. I'm gonna add this little wreath. Playing with this. Add this little wreath. It's six inches. It's one of the, um, what is it? Tiny, tiny wreath collection. It's like a grapevine, grapevine wreath. It says two of them, but I'm not going to untie them. Like I'm leaving them like that. Yeah. Anyway, it's six inches, and I couldn't find a six inch wreath already made, so I bought this little greenery, and we're going to make our own. Oh, what are we making? We're just going to wrap it around. You know what? I need something to cut that. Do I have something maybe right in there? So just, yeah, wrap it on there so it's attached. Come through here. We're just tying it on. Tying it on. Tying one on. All right, now let's add this other little piece here. The whole thing? I might need to put a piece right there. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> might get a couple of these flyaways, a little thin. That's definitely a flyaway. That went a little thin there. Garrett loves the wreath making. <laughs> this is like his worst part. He hates this part. But I couldn't find one. I would have just bought a little one, but I couldn't find it, so. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. Here's our little wreath. <laughs> All right, so put that aside. Now, step two, we're going to peel off this tape and we're gonna put them on stripes horizontally. And we weren't gonna meet in the middle like Lady and the Tramp. So now, will it be easier if you turn it or you can just do it this way? Just do it horizontal? Yep. Starting in the middle? Starting in the middle, do the same thing. All right, now this step, we need a little bit darker gray. So we have light gray. Now we're gonna go darker gray. And I think we need to add a little black. Oh, here's the other black over here. If you need more. And we're just gonna paint all the way across? Uh huh. The whole just thing. The stripes, yep. I think we got it all. Okay. Now I need to just let this layer dry. Like five more minutes. Yep, and then we'll add the next layer. All right. Now that this is dry, step two is dry. Step three, we're gonna add tape back over the original white sections. Can you see those? Yeah. Over the white sections? Mm-hmm. While we were waiting for the last section to dry, I went ahead and added just a little more dark gray to the lighter gray that we had, or the medium gray, I guess, at this point. And now we've made it a really dark gray. So now we'll fill in all of the unpainted or untaped sections, squares, with the dark gray. So let me get the close-up cam and I'll show you. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll wait for this to dry and we'll peel it up. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be completely dry. Okay. All right, thanks to the magic of heat gunness, we sped up the drying time a little bit. It's still wet, but it's not shiny. We're gonna lift it up now. Yes, let's see what we got. What do you think? Is that what you're hoping for? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. What was that about? <laughs> no, I, I think it looks great. It looks great. I'm not sure the silver is doing exactly what I wanted to do, but it's it definitely gives it that buffalo plaid look. It looks good. It's like, you gotta get that in the right light. All right. What do you guys think? Can you see it? Is that... Is that first gray, silver, too light? Let us know what you think down below. Tell us what you think. So we're gonna add our... Let's just do it. Little stencil here at the bottom. All right, yep, let's do it. You think it's dry enough for the stencil? Um, yeah, I think I can paint over it. It'll have to dry over time. We're gonna fill in our stencil with a really dry brush, so hopefully it prevents bleeding. Oh, 
Alright. Well, bless you. Bless you. Alright, ready? You ready? Alright, time to feel it. So the paint isn't exactly dry. It's still damp, and that's the best time to pull up your. Oh, it's pulling up all the other paint. No, no. Not too bad. We didn't lose too much silver. All right, that's what we've got so far. There, there you go. Our nest. It's our nest, babe. So now we can put the frame on and then, actually, I'm gonna put the wreath on and then you can put the frame on to hold the ribbon for the wreath. Okay. Okay, I have two choices, so let me show you this. I'm going to put the wreath right up top here. This way, like this. So I have two choices of ribbon. And I hope you can see it from there. This one is a black and white leopard print with some silver on it. Very cougarish. And this is... Oh, burlap and black zigzag. Yep. What do you guys think? I say cougar. No, nope. I think I'm gonna go with the burlap. Okay. You guys leave a comment down below if you think I was right. <laughs> I'm just touching up the original silver gray, the light. The stencil seemed to pull some of that. Do you just want me to put the frame on it? Uh-huh. Let's here, give me a piece of this tape for now. And then we'll see what it does with the frame. I'm just tacking the frame around the outside with one and a quarter inch brads. It's my favorite nail. All right, I think that's it, right? Yes, that looks so good. All right. There we go, there's the iron nest sign. Here, let's get closer so you can see. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? All right, I think we're oh. all done. Well, good job, babe. Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. There's a subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.